Russian icons fill the walls of the small chapel of this monastery in Rome where nuns from around the world pray for Russia as part of a special effort for the last 50 years now. Since 1957, these nuns break their silence only to pray and sing in their Slavic language. The rite they follow is of the Orthodox tradition, but they're Catholic. Their habit is also like that of Russian Orthodox nuns. The life of this cloistered convent reflects that of Orthodox convents. The only difference is that in these convents, they pray with and for the Pope. In the East, they do not distinguish between cloistered convents and those with an active life with outside contact. The cloister is not understood as a separation. There are no grates, but the nuns live in the monastery and leave only for important matters. Pope Pius XII had this convent established. His goal was to end communism in Russia, a country to which he was particularly attached. The same day Pius XII was ordained a bishop, Our Lady of Fatima appeared to the shepherds, calling for the conversion of Russia. The monastery began with four nuns. All were Russian. A Jesuit priest was the superior, and a Benedictine abbot taught the nuns the Byzantine rite. Although they'd been baptized with the Orthodox tradition, many had forgotten about the elements of it. The nuns were the first four to make up the community. They were all Russians because at first he wanted them to be Russian. They'd fled Russia years earlier and brought with them painful stories. Two lived during the Tsarist period and one of the others, a younger member, at the start of the Soviet era. While Russia's modern-day needs have changed, these nuns are still praying. They're now focusing on progress in ecumenical dialogue. In fact, many Orthodox patriarchs have passed through the convent. Many expressed also their condolences when the founder died a few months ago. Proof of the good relationship they have with the Orthodox world is seen in the many icons they've received as gifts. This image of the coronation of the Mother of God is one of the oldest. It was given by Metropolitan Nicodemus. He handled external relations for the Orthodox Church. When he came to Rome, he always visited the nuns. He was very open to them. Also, when on behalf of the Orthodox Church, he came to congratulate John Paul I on his election as Pope, he suffered a heart attack and died in the arms of the Pope. Sister Helen is Italian, and since her childhood has been passionate about Russian culture and the Byzantine rite. After a trip to Russia, she realized she had to do something for this country. So here, from the heart of the church, they pray continually for Russia with the other nuns who've dedicated their lives on this special mission.